We have some beautiful shrimps and we are going to cook them in a very flavorful garlic butter with parsley in our toaster oven. Shrimps are graded by size per pound. Those ones are 1620, which means when you buy one pound of shrimps, you will have between 16 and 20 pieces of it. So when you peel shrimps, if you are right hand, you have the tail on the left hand and you start to peel by the head. It's very simple. You just pull like that, going under the belly and just pulling and it comes like a ring. So we have the peeled shrimp. We are keeping the little tail at the end. Then what is important to do is to devein the shrimps. To devein the shrimps, you take it like this. With the knife, you open and you see when you see this little dark intestine here, you remove it with your knife. That way the shrimp is very clean. And then we're going to butterfly it on a cutting board. You go three quarter of it with the knife slicing inside. And the shrimp is butterfly. I have some soft butter, not melted, but soft. I'm putting the garlic in it, some of the chopped shallot, the chopped parsley, a bit of salt, some white pepper, some lemon juice. Mix it together like that. To have this kind of a soft butter, you just have to take the butter maybe 15, 20 minutes before you cook, leave it outside on the counter in the kitchen, and it will come at room temperature and will be soft and easy to mix with the ingredients. We have the butter, we are going to place the shrimps on the tray covered with aluminium, a little bit of oil that will prevent the shrimps from sticking to the foil. Shrimps goes on top and we are going to put them like that. I have my butter, I use a small brush and we are going to paint the shrimps fairly generously because the butter is protecting, is giving a very, very nice flavor as well. The toaster oven is ready, it's about 450. Make sure that the rack is on top so the shrimps will be close to the broiler and a few minutes inside and the shrimps will be ready. Shrimps are ready. They should be slightly translucid in the middle if they are cooked properly and that will guarantee that the shrimps are moist and not overcooked and rubbery. And we just have to plate them. Very simple. Presentation is important, so why not make it look nice and elegant? So here we have our shrimps like that. We have a little bit of leftover butter in the tray, and I'm going to use it and sprinkle the shrimps with it. It's going to add extra flavor, just like that. Let's test the first shrimp. It's really delicious. The toaster oven, two minutes, beautiful shrimps, a great meal. to quit your job and live the life you've always dreamed of? You're really living the dream, I would imagine, the expat dream. I feel more free here than I do in the States. This is it, man. This is the life. Join me, Savannah Jane Buffett, as I follow two buddies from college who quit their grueling office jobs and moved down to St. John to be bartenders in paradise. Now they're not just serving drinks, they've created the number one microbrew in the Caribbean. I looked out and there was about 30 cubicles. And at that moment, I said, I can't. I knew I wanted to roll the dice and that I wanted to take a break from what I was doing. Nice place to live, don't you think? Not bad. It was a very surreal feeling because this is all new to me. This is going to be my new home. At that point, we knew we were all in. They're the lucky guys, man. They make beer for a living on an island. It's just two guys hanging out in the Caribbean and, and brewing some great beer and, you know, living the dream, I guess. <laughs>